Hey crafty babes, Andrea here. Welcome to part two of my look inside my 2022 notebook. I have already shown all of these pages so you can go back and look at part one of this and we are just gonna run through real quick the kind of like the back half, not really the back half, the back quarter really of 2022 uh, starting in about October. Now um, I am not doing these like specifically chronological but in in general these kind of go you know in general order uh, so you'll see things just mixed around a bit but this is going to be basically the fall and it starts with this birthday layout for Marshall he turned 15 and I just was able to make a really fun page kit with this I believe that this kit is from um, Paisley Press and it has these green brown neutral colors which I thought was just perfect and use as many of the things as I could and some Felicity Jane numbers and just had a lot of fun pulling a, a couple of pieces of green into this layout. This one was really fun and also mixing in a couple of four by sixes here. This is a page of a little drive that Gibson took me on. He likes to um, drive fun <laughs> um, on a on a specific in a specific area close by our house, some back roads and stuff. And um, we went out one Sunday morning, and he took me out there. And then he took me out to the property where he has. Uh, a car repair shop with his buddy and so that was fun I got to take some pictures and uh, this was just really fun pulling in some of the colors that wouldn't necessarily be what you would think of but because of the way that the sun was shining on this wall I was able to pull in these teal greens and then with the sunrise and the greens from nature uh, they just all kind of fit and then I added some pink in here because I'm wearing a pink shirt and it just all fit and like I've said this a million times but the color to me the color matching and pulling in the colors from from the photos themselves is like seriously one of my very 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 favorite things <laughs> I love it so much uh, this is from something very simple and some uh, this is a page that I have had these pieces together for like a year. <laughs> this didn't even really, this is not even 2022. I'm pretty sure this is a 2021 set of pictures, but I really just wanted to use these three pictures with this card that says this, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, and I finally was able to make it happen. I don't know. You know, sometimes I just get too um, involved in a lot of my newer photos and newer events and things like that, that I forget and I tend to kind of ignore some of the older things that didn't get done, but I really wanted to kind of go back and handle some of these older, just these older photos that were kind of hanging around in my little bin. Uh, this is just a fun family photo that I was finally able to take. Um, we just are not a, a family photo kind of family, uh, but I was like, everybody is gonna sit on the stairs and we're gonna take a picture. And you know, they're boys and so, they do what mom asks, which is very nice. But I really love this layout, just this vertical situation and just a little bit of stuff hanging off the edges with a lot of torn edges here. And uh, this one was really fun. I even threw in some stitches, so much fun. This is a November recap. I love the variety of sizes where I've got some three by fours, I've got some two by twos and some two by three and a halfs. Those are really, really fun. Actually, these might be two by three. I forget two and a half by three. I forget. Anyway, they're just smaller, smaller scale to the three by four. And I was able to, I mean, I'm pretty sure I worked on this page in like April or May. And so it was a really fun, like going back and finding some fall stuff to play with. I had a lot of fun with this one. Another page that kind of got left behind last year was uh, this Home for the Holidays uh, acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs. I really wanted to make sure that that got used this year. And then I had these um, pictures of putting together the puzzle that I designed uh, for the winter time of Christmas time last year in 2022. 
And so I used the supplies from issue number 27 that coordinated with all of this and was able to just throw in a little bit of journaling, use some hearts and some fun layers. Another fall page. Um, I just had these really pretty photos that I ended up never using in any of my other fall um, pages and I just really <laughs> really love them and wanted to make sure I could bring out these bright oranges and the frost that was on uh, the grass that morning and just loved bringing in some of the more muted colors because I had just spent the first half of the year you know working with lots of bright colors and the the muted back to fall was really fun finally got to document Thanksgiving and got to use this or that card that I made for issue number 27. Uh, and then finally, you know, I keep saying finally because I just, I put these pages off for a really long time. Uh, I didn't work on them, you know, at, at the time you know, within a reasonable time. Usually I'm a, I'm a few months behind in, in you know, in, in the current date to the, the stuff that I'm working on. But a lot of times because this is my business that I have to, you know, I'm kind of working currently and then I tend to let the older photos fall away and I forget about them. Some, you know, I, I kind of put them off. So here I am not putting them off and really, really loved getting to use some of the some of the cards I designed for issue number 27 of Crafty Babe magazine and some of these Thanksgiving photos that I was able to take. Another page uh, is this one of being at my parents' house and I, we just did not take a ton of photos so I made it very easy with just some photos, some big stamps, and a little bit of journaling. It was so easy. I didn't have to find supplies to match, nothing like that. I just used black ink and that way everything coordinated another super easy one as you can tell I'm getting toward the end of the year here and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get the pages done and not trying to put a ton of effort into them but these two I really really wanted to use these two items together and so I just made it easy on myself again a couple of stamps here and some journaling it just doesn't have to be that complicated but in general, I really like to use a lot of supplies just because they bring so much color and personality, but sometimes you just want to get the page done. And that is a bit of a mix of what I did here. I took that same kind of format where I was just basically focusing on the stamps and the journaling through the, the photos around where I knew I would have some room for journaling and then just loaded everything up with stars and hearts easy peasy and thankfully you know I had kind of put all of these photos together these were kind of like the misfits of December that didn't get used anywhere else they all had red in them and it just worked out so wonderfully and one more actually yep one more was Christmas morning and I mean I couldn't tell you anything about this page other than these were the four photos that I took that turned out that morning and I just journaled on two of them and called it done. The rest of the album or the rest of the notebook is just blank paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this notebook up and take these pages out and throw them in another notebook. That way there's not just empty pages sitting back here. So that is a look at my 2022 personal notebook. Obviously it has things in here um, with family and of course it's not all about me but it is definitely all my perspective. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like these look insides uh, and me talking through them. You can check out a shorter version of this on Instagram. I'm going to throw it in my reels and you can just watch a really quick flip through there. And if there's anything that I mentioned that you could still get your hands on as far as things being in my shop or what I may have used, I will do my best to link those things in the description. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.